Since the Vietnam War, when the first CH-53 came on the scene, the heavy lift helicopter has been essential to the mission of the United States Marine Corps. The CH-53E Super Stallion is the current heavy lift helicopter used by Marines around the world. It is capable of rapidly transporting troops and equipment from ship to shore, launching amphibious assaults, facilitating logistics and maintenance, providing sustainment and supplies, and equipping the warfighter for mission success. The powerful Super Stallion is capable of lifting heavy military equipment, yet still compact enough to fit on board an amphibious warfare ship, where it can take off carrying nearly 32,000 pounds of cargo and deliver it at sea level in tropical conditions 50 miles away before returning to base. The Super Stallion has been a workhorse for the Marine Corps around the world for more than 30 years, performing a full range of military combat operations in Beirut, Somalia, the Persian Gulf, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya. And during times of disaster, it is used to bring relief for victims of hurricanes and typhoons, earthquakes, flooding, and famine. In 2019, the CH-53E hit the landmark milestone of 1 million flight hours. But even this resilient and robust workhorse is requiring more and more maintenance hours to fly. Each aircraft is undergoing an extensive period of dedicated maintenance called reset, designed to return it to full mission-capable status, which will keep the Super Stallion mission ready until sundown. But the next generation of heavy lift helicopters is already built and flying. The CH-53K King Stallion is the most powerful helicopter ever made by the United States government. The King Stallion may resemble its predecessor, but in fact, its capabilities are a quantum leap beyond what the Super Stallion provides. Currently in testing, the King Stallion will be deployed to the fleet by 2024. This impressive aircraft is a game changer for heavy lift. It will continue to fill the same mission as a pillar of logistics support for United States Marine Corps efforts, but with impressive improvements. It is powered by three new General Electric T408 engines and is designed to lift nearly three times more than the Super Stallion, up to 36,000 pounds in high, hot conditions, and carry 27,000 pounds a distance of 110 nautical miles, or 32 troops 208 nautical miles. It carries heavier cargo, flies higher and in hotter environments than its predecessor, and holds more troops. It has a wider cabin and easier roll-on and roll-off cargo loading, including easily loading 463L pallets, and it is safer for the Marines that fly it. The King Stallion has a smaller shipboard footprint than the Super Stallion, is designed to have a lower cost of operation, and with improved reliability and maintainability, this aircraft can fly more hours with less required maintenance, saving time and money. But the King Stallion has brains as well as brawn. It uses state-of-the-art fly-by-wire technology to reduce the pilot's workload, allowing them to focus on the mission. It is a smart helicopter with modern technology and digital capabilities for a digital battlefield and maritime high-end fight. It is agile in design and development across the entire spectrum with a focus on capability and adaptability. The King Stallion is coming and the fleet can't wait to have it for their use. But until then, the Super Stallion is a capable, reliable, and safe workhorse providing heavy lift for the Marine Corps.